بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم گڈ مارننگ اینڈ السلام علیکم آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو دا ایس ایل ایس مانسری اینڈ ہائی اسکول آن لائن لرننگ پروگرام ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیچ یو یونٹ ٹو نمبرز فرام دا نیو کاؤنٹ ڈاؤن بک ون فرام پیج نمبرز ٹوئنٹی سیون ٹو ٹوئنٹی نائن ٹو یو ریمبر وی ہیو لرنٹ کاؤنٹنگ on page 21 earlier let's revise them first 1 to 9 are ones and when we add one more number beads or candies we'll get one stack of 10 one bar of 10 and which in numbers is called t e n 10 if we have two stacks of 10 then 2 stacks of 10 make 20 revise it with me in numbers it is called t w e n t y 20 in the same manner if we have one more stack of 10 if we add this one more stack of 10 in 20 we will have three stacks of 10 and three stacks of 10 make 30 in numbers it is called 30 T H I R T Y 30 Now look at page 27 of countdown Look at the first column A we have two stacks of 10 and 0 1 so 20 plus 0 makes 20 and in numbers name it is called 20 T W E N T Y 20 In the column B you can see two stacks of 10 and 1 1 it means 20 plus 1 makes what it makes 21 in numbers it is called T W E N T Y 20 hyphen or space and then you have to write 1 O N E 1 in the same way you will complete the page till 29 i have solved some of the columns for you so that it makes easier for you to solve this page now we are moving to page 28 Here we have to fill the numbers and the numbers name from 30 to 39. First, look at the column A. We have three stacks of 10 and zero ones means 30, and in numbers name it is called T H I R T Y 30. Now, in column B, we have three stacks of 10 and one ones, so 30 plus 1 makes 31 and in numbers name it is called T H I R T Y hyphen or space O N E 1 31 now you have to solve the remaining column in the same manner Now open page 29 numbers 40 to 49 look at the column A you can see four stacks of 10 and zero ones and the number name is 40 F O R T Y 40 now move on to column B you can see four stacks of 10s and one one so 40 plus 1 makes 41 and the number's name is f o r t y 40 hyphen o n e 1 41 now you can fill in the missing numbers and the number's name of c d e n f in the same manner look at the column g four stacks of 10 and six ones 40 plus 6 means 46 and the number's name is F O R T Y 40 hyphen or space then 
SIX6. Then till 49. Fill in the missing columns in the same way. Hope you have learned numbers 20 to 49. Revise it and practice it on your rough register too. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum dear students. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to study unit 2 numbers from your countdown book. And the page numbers we are going to study this time are from 32 to 36. I hope you remember that last time we started pages from 27 to 29. So this time we are going to learn numbers and number in no names from 50 to 99. But before we start solving our exercises, I want you to learn counting with the help of Abacus. Here in front of you is a picture of an Abacus which has two rods. The first rod has green beads in it and the second rod has red beads in it. So do you know what do these two rods indicate? Let me tell you that. The red rod the rod in which red beads are present is called the ones rod. O N E S ones. It tells you about ones. And the other rod, the rod in which green beads are present, this rod tells us about tens. T E N S tens. So the green rod of the Bacchus tells about the tens, and the red, the rod in which the red be uh, beads are present tells about the ones. Now let us start with page 32 of your countdown book. The question says, count on the abacus, write the missing numbers and the number names. In this page, we are going to learn the numbers from 50 to 59. In, on this page, there are multiple parts from A to J. Now let's start from part A. There are no beads in one's rod and five green beads in tens rod of the abacus. So five tens means 50 plus zero ones, which makes 50. And the number name is 50. Revise it with me. F I F T Y 50. Now look at part B on page 32. There is one red bead in one's rod of Abacus and five green beads in tens rod. So five tens mean 50 plus one, one, which makes 51. And in number names, it is called F-I-F-T-Y 50 space or hyphen, then O-N-E 1, 51. Now write the missing numbers and number names of part C, D in the same manner. Now we are going to look at part E of the same page. In this page, first count the red beads in one's rod. There are four beads in one's rod and five green beads in tens rod of Abacus. So five tens means 50 plus four ones, which makes 54. And the number name is 54, F-I-F-T-Y, 50, hyphen, or space, and then F-O-U-R, 4, 54. Now, move on to part H. Here, there are 7 beads in 1's rod and 5 beads in 10's rod. So, 5 tens mean 50 plus 7 ones, which makes what? Yes, it makes 57 and the number name is 50, F-I-F-T-Y, 50, -F -F 50 hyphen, S-E-V-E-N, 7, which makes 57. You have to solve part I and J in the same manner. Now turn on page 33 in which we are going to learn numbers from 60 to 69. The question of this page is that you have to write the missing numbers and the number names. In the similar manner, this page has multiple parts. We are going to start from part A. First look at the column on part A in Abacus. 
As you know, in Abacus, 0 is used for 1s and T is used for 10s. So, so look at the 1s rod. There are 0 beads in 1s rod and 6 green beads in the 10s rod. 6 10s means 60 plus 0 1s, which makes 60. And the number name is SIXTY60. Revise it with me. S I X T Y 60. Now look at the part B in a Bacchus. It has one red bead in one's rod and six green beads in tens rod. Six tens and one ones makes what? It makes yes, it makes 61. And the number name is 60 S I X T Y 60 hyphen or space O N E 1 61 in the same manner fill in the part C and after C we have part D again look at the ones rod in part D in this rod ones rod of Abacus we have to count the red beads first there are three red beads and six green beads in the tens rod six tens Six makes what? It makes 60 plus 3. And the number name is 63. Revise it with me. S-I-X-T-Y 60 hyphen or space 3. T-H-R-E-E 3. Now fill in the E, F, G, H and I parts in the same manner. After counting beads in ones, and tens rod. Now look at the last part J. There are nine red beads in one's rod and six green beads in tens rod. Six tens and nine ones makes what? Yes, it makes 69. And a number's name it is called S I X T Y 60 hyphen or space 9 N I N E 69. Now we are moving on page 34 in which we learn numbers from 70 to 79. The question of the page says that write the missing numbers and the number names. This page also has multiple parts but let's start with the part A which is an example. It is solved for you already. There are zero ones in ones rod and seven green beads on tens rod. So seven tens means 70 plus zero ones which makes 70 yes 70 and the number name is s e v e n t y 70 revise it with me s e v e n t y 70 in part b it has one red bead on one's rod and seven green beads on tens rod so seven tens and one's one makes what 71 and the number name is 70 s e v e n t y 70 hyphen or space o n e 1 71 in the same manner write the missing number and number names of c d and e after e look at part f in this part the abacus has five ones and seven Tens. So, 7 tens plus 5 ones makes 75 and the number name is 70 S E V E N T Y 70 hyphen F I V E 5. Revise it with me. It is called 75 in numbers names. Do the part G H in the same way. Now, in part I, Abacus has eight ones and seven tens. So, seven tens and eight ones makes what? It makes 78. And in number names, it is called S-E-V-E-N-T-Y 70 hyphen E-I 
GHT 8 70 hyphen 8 78 and the last part J here the abacus has nine ones and seven tens so seven tens plus nine ones makes yes it makes 79 and in numbers names it is called S E V E N T Y hyphen N I N E 79 now revise the numbers from 70 to 79 with correct spellings now in page 35 we will learn the numbers from 80 to 89 here you have to solve from part A to J and part A has been solved for you in part A look at now look at part B here is one bead in one's rod and eight beads on tens rod which makes 80 so 80 plus 1 makes what it makes 81 in numbers name it is called e i g h t y hyphen or space o n e 1 81 now write the missing numbers and number names in part c and d then in part e you can see four beads on one's rod and eight eight beads on tens rod so eight tens make 80 and four ones make 84 and the number name is 80 e i g h t y 80 hyphen or space f o u r 4 80 hyphen 4 do part F and G in the same manner by using a bacchus. Now in part H, 7 beads of 1s and 8 beads of 10s are on a bacchus. 80 plus 7 makes what? Yes, you guessed it right. It makes 87. And in number names, it is called E-I-G-H-T-Y-80 hyphen S E V E N 7 80 hyphen 7 87 and last is part J it has 9 beads of 1 on 1's rod and 8 beads of 10's on 10's rod 8 10's makes 80 and 9 1's makes 89 and a number name it is called E I G H T Y 80 hyphen or space n i n e 9 89 now we are on the last page which is page number 36 in this page we're going to study numbers from 90 to 99 but before we start let me just revise it with you what we have studied till now we have studied that in abacus we have two rods which we use for counting the first rod is used for counting ones and the next rod is used for counting what yes it is used for counting the tens so in part a we have zero ones and nine tens 90 plus zero makes 90 and the number name is n i n e t y 90 then in part b we have one one and nine tens 90 plus 1 makes what it makes 91 and the number name is n i n e t y 90 hyphen o n e 1 91 revise it with me n i n e t y hyphen o n e 1 91 now in part c what comes after 91 yes you guessed it right it's 92 it has two ones which make 92 and the number name is n i n e t y 90 hyphen t w o 2 92 in the same manner you have to solve the parts from c till the end that is part j let's revise the numbers again from 90 to 99 starting from 90 
we have 91 afterwards. What comes after 91? 92 followed by 93, 94 and then yes 95. After 95 we have what? We have 96 and after 96 we have 97. What do we call 97 in number names? Revise it with me and I N E T Y 90 hyphen or space S E V E N 7 90 hyphen 7 97 after 97 we have 98 and 99 is the last one in this row so my dear students we have successfully completed the numbers from 20 till 99 I hope you will revise and practice all of these at home with your mothers and your parents on your rough registers and orally also. Keep on remembering and revising it every now. Thank you all for your attention.